Taking a peek at the high V tower cam, rain has not made its way into Springfield yet. It's already made its way into some places down south. Uh, we're looking at the first half hour. We can see that rain and Branson, the roads were already a little bit wet and traffic seems to be flowing well looking at it east division and highway 65 and man what a warm warm morning here and a big reason was we had the warm day yesterday which typically leads to warm nights and we're already in those upper 60s and temperatures are going to climb into those kind of mid 70s for today so we're going to get warmer just not a whole lot warmer than what we got already and we do have those fast winds they're going to stick around for today they're going to stick around for really the next week and man we managed to hit 80 in here and 81 here in Springfield. The majority of people managed to also get into that 80 degree mark. And congratulations to Rolla for taking down a record that was set in 1899. They managed to beat it by a degree. 83 degrees is the new record for them. And what's been going on? The big story is not these warm temperatures. The big story is this guy. What's about to come into our region is all this cloud cover and moisture has been slowly, ever so slowly moving up and up to the north. And now it's at the point where it's impacting our weather and places down south have already seen some light showers, some drizzle that's impacting the region. And it's going to continue to move north and track upwards throughout the day, especially during that morning hour. You have to be more concerned about that rainfall that's going to be coming. Uh, you can see that just about everyone in our viewing area should get a little bit of rain, a little bit of sprinkles today. But when we get into that afternoon, that evening hour, it's really going to begin to push off and quiet down down south. This is going to kick off a pattern that we're going to expect to see for really the next couple days where we're going to get multiple rounds of rainfall and it's going to be not a complete washout. We're expecting rain with an intermission of sun and clouds in between and that's what we're going to have for today and then Wednesday uh, that intermission is going to set in where there's going to be some chances of some scattered showers are going to be occurring throughout Wednesday night. But when we get into Wednesday evening, I like our chances to stay dry before even more rain is going to arrive on Thursday. Now this is going to be the rain from now throughout Wednesday and you can see places out west. You're going to see the bulk of that rainfall places out east. You're not going to see a whole lot of rain that's going to be coming your way. We're talking a sprinkle, maybe a tenth. I even think models are a little bit too aggressive in Springfield. A quarter inch seems to be fairly aggressive. It is doable, but a little bit less is where I'd be betting for that. And this rain outlook, it's going to be coming, guys. It's going to be more and more rain. Looking at the next seven days, the places out east, hey, you're not getting rain today. Don't worry. There's going to be plenty of rain that's going to be pushing into your way sooner or later. And the big reason why is this deep trough that this jet stream has. And it's just a battleground between cold and warm air mass that's going to be going back and forth. And well, that cold air is going to win that battle. But it's going to take them a while to do that. Those temperatures are going to stay warm in those mid to upper 70s for the next couple days. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to begin to cool off with temperatures in the 60s, heavier rain coming. And then look at those cool, cool highs on Monday. We'll be in the 40s, guys. A wet stretch ahead for us here in the Ozarks, Matt. Thanks.